What's up guys, welcome back to another Luma Fusion video. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the text behind a moving subject. So in this video, I'm gonna use myself and I'm gonna put the text behind me as I'm moving with the AK4000 gimbal. This effect is also used in my brand new intro that you see some of you really like that intro so I might be doing a tutorial on how I actually made that intro and there's also a lot of you that joined the competition on making your own intro which is the uh, Rob HK challenge hashtag Rob HK challenge you can also search on Rob HK challenge on YouTube and you will see all the submissions so far there's not that many days left so I recommend that you just jump into the competition create a unique awesome dope intro for you your channel or for yourself or just as a showcase and use hashtag RobHKChallenge in the topic and doing that it will be automatically placed under hashtag RobHKChallenge and when I search for that I will see your submission and your video for this competition and if you're still in the making of your intro you can always use this effect the text behind subject for your intro to spice it up. So now let's move over to LumaFusion and I'm gonna show you an example and how you make this awesome effect in LumaFusion. And as we get into LumaFusion, you can see that we have the finished project here and we have a part of the project a little bit further into our timeline. So this is the video file that we will be working with when we're gonna make this text behind the subject. And this is also just the raw footage. The only thing I applied to this one was some uh, slow motion and some color grading. This effect do work best if you have a white shirt or if you have a shirt that has one color only. But we're going to try and make the same effect with a t-shirt that has a little bit of black spots inside of it. So the first thing we want to do is to duplicate the video file that we have and take the duplicated part and place it on the third layer. And then we want to tap on the clip which is on the first track and then go down to the button on the bottom left which has a plus inside of it and tap on overlay. This will create a text layer in between those clips and that's also an easier way to apply a text preset rather than going up to source and then to titles and find the text overlay that you want to apply. So the next thing we're going to do is to go into the text overlay and what I like to do is to delete everything that's already there and then start fresh. So we're going to delete this and we're going to start by adding a box and you can either drag the box to the top left corner and then just scale it with your fingers or you can go down to scale and just increase the scale which is a faster and easier way. As you can see on this video, there's a lot of green in the background as well, which is my color grading. And uh, for this text box, we're gonna use the color pink. And this allows us to do more with the uh, chroma key than if this was the same color or green, uh, which is the same as the background. So once we change the color to pink, we can add our desired text. And in this text box, we're gonna type the exact same word, AK4000, and we're also gonna change the font. So once the font is changed, we can go over to chroma key and we're gonna apply chroma key blue. And this takes away all the pink in the image, as you can see here. And if we go out to our timeline and play through, we can't really see the text yet. So we have to double tap on the footage, which is on the third track. And here we're gonna go into chroma key as well. And we're gonna add, it doesn't matter which one you add because you have to change the color to white anyway. Once we change the color to white, you see the text appears. 
So here we can just play around with the settings until we're happy with the settings and the look that we want to achieve. And the crucial thing here is that you have to change it to reverse. So by changing it to reverse and have a white color as well, you allow the text to be behind the white color of the chroma key. And this will cause that effect where your text is behind your subject. So the next thing we can do is to go over to the text and then we can go to frame and fit and we can play around with the keyframes. And here we need to apply the first keyframe and scale the text so it's within my shirt. And then we want to scrub through the timeline so we can see where the text will be placed further in the video. And we can also adjust with additional keyframes. So by changing the placement of the text after you made the first keyframe, we'll automatically apply a new keyframe. But if we take a look at my shirt, you see you can barely see the text inside the shirt as well. So what we want to do here, since my shirt is not completely white, is that we want to go over to color and effects and apply a basic color and change the highlight. So we want to increase the whiteness of this footage so the top of my t-shirt gets a little bit more white. You can simply use the LumaFusion color presets and then add the original one and change the highlight and the white color. But you need to add the same highlight to both of your clips, the clip on track number one and the clip on track number two. But if you're not quite happy with the look after adding some more white to your footage, you can go into chroma key on your top clip and then you can play around with the settings so you get the perfect look that you're after. So that's the text behind subject or object or whatever you want to put the text behind. You can also make better animation that we did in this video. This was just an example of how you can do it. And make sure that you have accurate colors when you are using uh, Luma key. And also you don't have to use a green background or a green shape. You can also use pink, blue, whatever shape that you want to use as long as you follow these steps and use the chroma keys in the uh, the ways that I showed you in this video, you should be able to put text behind almost everything. But if there's like green, brown, and you're gonna try to put uh, your text behind the brown in your image or your video, that might be a little bit tricky. So I recommend having something that is a bit contrasty, which I had in my example, which was my white t-shirt. And uh, that's it for this video. That's how you make this awesome, cool looking effect in LumaFusion 2.0. And I hope you found this video helpful and I hope I will see it in your intro as well. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up, smash that notification bell if you like what I do and to get notified when I upload new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.